Greetings from WBCS Neo. In this example, we're going to be using a thing called Cheat Engine. Um, it is a it's downloadable if you just Google it and you'll find it. Make sure you get it from the the proper website for Cheat Engine, which I will leave a link in the description. Um, and basically install it. But when you install it, please disable antivirus um, because they are told to stop Cheat Engine from installing. Okay, uh, nothing wrong with Cheat Engine. There's nothing nasty in there. It's just they are the antivirus companies have been told to program it with false positives basically so when it installs it goes nuts and the antivirus goes oh you've got a virus uh, complete BS okay um, once you've installed it you can re-enable your, your antivirus and your security and stuff and it'll work perfectly fine okay so getting to it straight away so I've got Eurotrucks installed and running at the minute and um, so that's running in the background as you can see there it's just done saver mode so what i'm going to show you is euro trucks um cheat engine so this is what cheat engine looks like it normally looks a little smaller and um, i've got a full screen just so you can see it okay so there's lots of skullduggery here and i'll tell you what what's going to happen first thing you need to do obviously get cheat engine run first and um, in this case euro trucks it is best to run it windowed so you can swap easier otherwise uh, if i didn't have it windowed for example it would minimize and you would just see me desktop and it's not a pretty desktop okay so what you need to first do is you need to load up the game uh, where it's hiding in memory okay so if you click on the little computer dude in this corner here and you get a list of applications in here we should have um, euro trucks there it is there Boo, there we go okay and you just click on open and that has changed all this this is now live okay this is being able to search in the memory so if, what i want to do is i want to change i don't know um how much i have in the bank okay so let's go over to how much I have in the bank. So if I just go to Euro Trucks and have a look, I've got 10.759.765. So I'll need to enter that value in here. Okay, 10.759.765, was it? Uh, 10.759.765, yeah. So I've got that amount, so that's what I need to do for the first scan. I need to find that money amount, okay? So I'm gonna hit scan. And it looks through the games where it's sitting in, in my memory in the game, in the computer and it's going to find that value okay now the smaller the value the more chances you're going to have lots of them okay so don't be scared when you have a thousand hits especially if you only got a couple of grand if you've got 10 grand or more you tend to find that you've got less hits okay in this case i have got about 20 hits okay for that one value okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and find or change the value okay and keep an eye on these amounts okay these ones will change red when they turn okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna to go to drive and this loads the game up Ooh, look at this right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the amount I've got easiest way I can do that is to do a quick travel okay so if I quick travel to oh I don't know Carlisle let's do a quick travel there's only 186 quid so I'm gonna do that do, 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 ching. there we go I've just changed that value that nice big 10 million to a little bit less so I'm gonna wait till that loads up okay do, 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 do. okay so we're sitting in my convenience of my building at the minute so we just want to confirm the amount so 10 seven five nine five seven nine so I've got a cheat engine go back to cheat engine so five seven nine so we've got one two three values okay so what i'm going to do is one two three values add selected to the bottom okay now this is the one i'm interested in why you're saying why why would that be the one that i'm interested in these two are ghost values okay these two are pulled from this one okay you tend to find if you've got a couple sitting together with the same amounts and you got one by itself this is the main game data this is the main storage and these two are what's like displayed on the screen for example okay and what that'll do is that'll throw you off you throw in the span in the works so if i go down to that bottom one which is the c50 okay and if i change this value so let's just do one two three four five six seven eight okay twelve million three hundred forty five thousand six hundred seventy eight dollar um, euros so I'm going to click on that, boom, okay, that one has changed, these ones have stayed put. Now, which, which, what, watch what happens when I switch back to the game. So I'm back in the game, we've still got 10 million, 
okay now if I go to drive now notice the 12.3 million now if I go back to the game that's your two display values now changed okay so I have now changed all the values in the game to that 12 million bingo so I've just gained 2 million just by doing that quick hack okay now I can save the game there and I've now got 12 million saved okay so you could do that for example if you only got a few grand in there so if you got 12 grand in there you could just add three zeros on the end boom you've got 12 million okay and that's how easy it is to hack the game so I can make that amount anything I want now if I go to there for instance I can do I don't know let's just put 12 grand okay 12 grand switch back go to the game 12 grand 12 grand anything I want okay and um, it's very handy if you are struggling in the game to do anything like get drivers garages and stuff out you might want to crank it to a million temporarily buy a few things and then knock it back down okay I haven't got a problem with that I, I, I think if it gives you a little bit of a push to keep playing the game then fine if you're not if you're playing a game to beat other people then I, I don't like hacking um, I like hacking if you're just doing a little bit for yourself and you think oh, I'm getting bored with this game I don't need to make it interesting by adding a little bit of money champion okay then you can do that as long as you remember to put it back so there you go so what I would do now is I would go back to cheat engine put it back to the original value okay so I'll just copy that put that back in there paste it back in put it back to the 10 million I had okay switch back to cheat engine escape twice there's 10.7 million again and back to the same figure there you go boom haven't done anything wrong really okay so that's how easy it is to hack a game to put any money amount for example you can do that with Grand Theft Auto if you get it takes a bit of digging in Grand Theft Auto I've got to admit and um, they do have it ghosted quite well so it's trying to find the actual monetary value is quite tricky and um, you can also do that for certain weapons as well I'm not saying which ones but you can do it for certain weapons in Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, so you can have unlimited weapons for example um, or a button to reload instantly and it doesn't cost you a dollar okay but I'm not going to tell you how to do that because you know, that again that will be that would be used against other players and I don't want people doing that so I'm not going to show you how to do that and um, you can work that one out yourselves okay um, again you could do this probably for um, for example you've got your experience 3292 so you could probably put that amount in do a search for it then go out do a job gain a little bit more experience and then you would find those those changes and then you could crank that up to you know, 20,000 experience 200,000 experience and then you would unlock all the features of the game pretty much you would just get all the all the perks would I say would I suggest to do that no because that's going to make the game boring you're just going to quit the game I'll, I still like to work on a game you know you know I've done that so but I wouldn't I wouldn't do it for experience I would work the experience naturally a bit of money on the side champion just to buy a couple of extra things or if you're getting low and you need to do a repair I would say yeah crank it up get the repairs done crank it back down then you know you've done a, a bit of a free you can get loans from the bank that's fine but you've got to work more to get that paid off uh, it's, it's it's a bit like getting a loan and paying it back okay but anyway that's enough that's enough waffling anyway that is it for now um, I hope it wasn't too long for you I'll, like I say I'll try to remember to put a link in the description for Cheat Engine uh, a fabulous bit of kit the other thing I will mention about Cheat Engine it comes with its own tutorials in there uh, which is basically you, you get a scenario and you've got to hack numbers and, and find number amounts and stuff and put values in and when if you get it right it's like a password and then you get a password to go back to the next beginning of the next level so you can go back and, and try different uh, basically different hacks and different types of hacks like you get randomizers and stuff which hide values like this very very well and you've got to stop the randomizer to find it on, and find buttons and all sorts it's it's a really good thing if you want to get into hacking um, it's a great utility to learn how to hack properly um, that's what it's there for it's there to teach you how to hack okay so anyway that is it um, please uh, obviously comment if you like I don't mind your comments uh, as long as they're not too negative you know I don't mind a little bit of criticism but you know um, obviously as a gamer you take it upon yourself to cheat 
it's up to you. If you get banned, don't come run crying to me saying, oh, I, I did what you said and I got banned. That's not my problem. This is an example. I know what I'm doing. If you mucked up and you get yourself banned because you went a little bit OTT and made yourself invincible on a game and everybody basically um, reported you, that's your problem <laughs> at the end of the day, not mine. Okay, and that's it. Uh, so have fun. Keep it reasonably legally safe. You know what I mean? Don't go OTT hacking games. It's it's not worth it, If it, especially if you paid good money for a game and you get barred from it because you're cheating. That's that's a bit silly. So just, you know, just be careful with it. Okay, um, that's it. Um, I don't think there was anything else really to mention. Just have fun. Um, if you did like it, please, like it. well, it's going to see at the end of the video anyway. See you later. Ciao for now. Hi, this is WBCS Neo. Thank you for watching this video. Um, if you did like it, please check out all the other videos I do have. Uh, more importantly, please subscribe, like, share, and if you can, comment below if you want. Okay, um, comments will be answered as soon as I can. Until the next time, see you later. Bye-bye.